The ocean might seem like a single continuous environment, but in reality, is made up of different overlapping ecosystems as you go deeper. Based on light, pressure, and other environmental factors, we can divide the ocean into five general zones. The first is the photic zone, which extends from the surface down to where light levels approach 1%. Because sunlight is readily available here, fueling photosynthetic life at the base of the food chain, the majority of all marine life is found in this zone. Beneath that is the twilight zone, where there is virtually no light. Since this makes photosynthesis difficult, many organisms here migrate through the water column, chasing the faint light created by the sun and moon. Next is the midnight zone, which is dark and cold. Encompassing about 70% of our ocean, this is the largest habitat on our planet and home to giants like sperm whales and colossal squid. Beneath this lies the abyssal zone. No light penetrates here. Many deep sea animals, like anglerfish, create their own light, called bioluminescence, to hunt, hide, or communicate in the darkness. Finally, the tiny hadal zone only occurs in the deepest trenches of the ocean floor, like the famous Mariana Trench. Making up less than 2% of the seafloor, the pressure here is too high for most organisms to survive, with only specially adapted species capable of living in these harsh conditions. We must keep exploring the depths of our global ocean, as we still have so much to learn about its unique environments.